Saint Pinus informs the holder, El the holy elder Ephraim, the abbot of Saint Anthony's Monastery of Arizona, near Florence, Arizona, saying to him, "Go and tell the army that the rear of the they are unguarded, and the rebels will go." And this is an, uh, an image of the icon of the Virgin Mary holding the uh, baby Jesus. And this is uh, the icon of the Virgin Mary found in the monastery of St. Anthony of Arizona. And uh, Dr. Constantin Ravagas writes, What we pointed out September, December 10th, 2019, a few hours after the ossuary uh, dormition of Elder and uh, Holy Apostle Ephraim of Arizona, there are no longer adequate expressions to indicate the greatness the greatest danger that arose from the East? Has the Turk gone mad, or is he preparing to hit us with great ferocity? And the things show uh, of themselves. Just 24 hours before the dormition of Elder Ephraim of Arizona in the Holy Monastery of St. Anthony in the United States, the Turkey-Libya agreement becomes the fuse of terrible developments, Erdogan, the president of Turkey, blackmailing not only Greece but also Western world that invested its energy future in the East Med pipeline that was to pass under, under the sea through the southern Mediterranean to Europe with a demarcation imposed by the legal agreement signed by controversial partners. Turkey became a, regulatory, a regulator of geopolitical developments in the region. The question is, does he have the backs of the powerful? What Elder Ephraim told him about his sleep, his dormition, my child, I won't catch up to the city because my child, I will sleep at the beginning of the events about the city. Um, uh, the Elder Ephraim was informed years ago about what we are experiencing today as a country and the dangers that lurk within us behind the border lines and even a, a great military saint who was a cavalryman, Saint Minas that is, on a beautiful horse with a twisted tail, advises Elder Ephraim and through the Elder us of course of what must be done to seal our security. Elder Ephraim said, Another time in paradise, I saw a heroic figure full of fortitude and boldness, wonderful. He had by his side a horse with a curled tail, very beautiful, and inside I envied it. I wanted to have that horse myself. He calls me and tells me he was something like a commander. He said, go and tell the army that the rear is unguarded and the rebels, that is the demons, will go in. And I ran and, and say it, and I ran back and I say I did. He embraced me, kissed me, and mounted his horse, smiling, and rode away. This was, of course, he's talking about St. Minas. Transcribed material of monks, spiritual children of the elder from Greece, who visited him at the Greek Orthodox Holy Monastery of St. Anthony of Arizona, in Florence, Arizona, in the U.S. And another point, the elder says, yes, we sense that disaster things will happen, and they happen every day. That is why we run to monasteries and churches, but we must not be afraid. Just think, if one, orders of, one order of angels becomes demons and do such damage, what help the nine other orders of angels, God's angels, offer us with their protection? Once I saw Christ on his throne, and next to Our Lady and the orders of angels and saints, we waited for the nod of our Christ to help humanity in the new situation. When we constantly fill our hearts with Christ every day, our faith grows stronger and we face everything. And Our Lady prays for us and constantly asks us to have strength and optimism. And this is by Dr. Kosandinos Vardakis, the theologian. I have translated the, for this for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.